Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm John Swicky, and welcome to our latest. And I just wanted to start playing around with some ChatGPT plugins today. I finally got access to the store, and uh, I just kind of wanted to get into it a little bit. So I wanted to see. So wanted to see what some of these things can do. So I installed the Zapier plugging in the store and I set up a couple of zaps so let's see if we could fire off a couple I'm not normally a Zapier user so I just kind of set up a few basic ones just to see what kind of functionality we can get here so let's start off with trying to get a calendar event going so can you add a new event for me tomorrow in my Google Calendar A and M to get Starbucks for myself. All right, so just some nothing too specific, other than I have tomorrow. I did specify my Google Calendar, and I said did say the time eight a.m. And uh, all right, so we can see what they how it parsed out. And it looks like it was able to post the Zapier, and it looks like I need to confirm the event, which totally cool. Let's see. And that's my calendar. And I think I just have to hit run. All right, so that was easy. So let's see, what else did I set up? Can you add a new record to my table? Need to make a list of YouTube video ideas. All right, let's see what this one can do. Okay, so it looks like I've I've only set up like mini workflows. It looks like it wants me to make like proper proper apps. So Zapier has this thing called table, so I set up a, a way to create a record. I called the table to do and then create a list of YouTube videos and then I gave it a tag of hi, so let's run that. Okay, so now you can see create a list of YouTube ideas this these are for some old tests so you can see it in this, this table this is a, a new Zapier feature I think where they have the database inside the app so pretty cool that you know we were able to just kind of add add a row right there so I think that's pretty cool all right let's see if we could do just one more one more quick can you add a new item to my notion of blog post wait blog post idea right about Zapier's apps alright so I set up a notion integration <laughs> so let's see what this does All right, let's see the the results. So let's go ahead and run that. And cool. cool. So <clears throat> that's just a kind of a quick look at a couple of a couple of the Zapier zaps that I 
that I had set up and uh, you know it's, it's been probably one of the better plugins that I've used so far I've tried a couple of them and they've all been pretty buggy but the Zapier one has been pretty pretty solid so far and I do want to kind of keep exploring some of the workflow I think I think it'll be really interesting to see if you can kind of you know like ask for information say like hey what's on my calendar today hey can you f get me a link to this document in my notion so i'm gonna keep playing around a little bit but i think some of these things are pretty cool to be able to just kind of uh work si work inside of them inside of a chat window and uh and if anyone has any you know interesting workflows that they've set up love to hear about them so you can leave us a comment and uh yeah, thanks everybody. We'll, we'll see you next time.